Welcome back. In sports news, world number one, Novak Djokovic retained his Wimbledon title in a thrilling fashion with a 7-6-6-7-6-4-6-3 victory over seven-time champion Roger Federer. The world number one was the dominant force throughout the final despite squandering seven set points in the second set against the Swiss who was bidding for a record eighth title of the All England Club. The Swiss won a thrilling second set tie break but Djokovic came through to win in two hours and 56 minutes. He adds a third victory at the All England Club to one US Open and five Australian Open titles and the Serb has now won 48 matches and lost just three this year. Victorious Djokovic kissing that cup like he would never let go. And the national under-16 basketball team this evening continued their impressive run at the ongoing FIBA Africa under-16 championship with a 60-53 to point win over host Madagascar. The national under-16 team, who also be, uh, at the weekend defeated Egypt 54 points to 52, lead the first quarter 13 points to 8, but the host forced Nigeria 15 all in the second quarter. The Tigers have also defeated Egypt. Uh, also, Nigeria lost the third quarter of 12 points uh, to 20, but raised their game in the fourth to win 20 to 10 points. The team will play Zimbabwe tomorrow and then a round off the group games against Morocco on Tuesday. Eurozone leaders have convened a summit uh, cancelled earlier today to discuss uh, Greece's debt crisis. The 19 leaders are meeting late into the night to try to reach agreement on a deal that will prevent Greece's economy from collapsing. Already, the finance ministers have already discussed in detail the option of easing Greece's debt burden so long as the country enacts legislation immediately to reform taxation, pensions and administration. Sunday was the second day for scheduled discussions on the Greece bailout, but leaders have obviously gotten nowhere with the talks and had to cancel because they said the talks had become very difficult. According to Germany's finance minister, discussions have gotten more in-depth and the issue of credibility and trust and the financial issues involved have already been discussed. But the talks remain complicated and leaders said it was unlikely there would be any breakthrough on Sunday. Talks also centered around keeping Greece in the Eurozone. The country's Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras will be required to push legislation through Parliament from Monday, July the 13th to convince his 18 partners in the Monetary Union to release immediate funds to avert the country being bankrupt and begin negotiations on a third bailout program. We just uh, finished our uh, a meeting 
we've come a long way, solved a lot of issues, but some big issues still remain. So we're now going to inform the leaders and they can uh, discuss and hopefully decide on those last issues. Meanwhile, some laws will need to be passed on Wednesday and the entire package endorsed by Parliament before talks can start. The European Union is expected to present a draft statement which says Greece needs 7 billion euros by July the 20th when it must make a crucial bond redemption to the European Central Bank and the total of 12 billion euros by mid-August when another ECB payment will be due. The draft, however, did not say how these needs will be met. Our finance ministers have not yet agreed on emergency finance. But Ireland's Taoiseach and the Kenny said European Union leaders have a huge responsibility towards Europe. We don't want to look back in 10 years' time uh, and, and, and have a situation whereby this could have been saved, but wasn't. So it, it, it does now mean that the Greeks have got to demonstrate in their parliament uh, their intent and their seriousness on making the changes and starting to implement in a really serious way uh, what can bring about um, a functioning Greek economy and they will be able to stay in the Eurozone. As for Greece's tourists, reaching a deal could take time. The political institution in Greece were wrong uh, about the last, the last decades, and it's now the moment to, to, have, to have some change in Greece, I think. Uh, and uh, as, far, as far as I'm concerned, I, I'm convinced that Tsipras uh, and his staff can, can do that change. Greece is asking creditors for 53.5 billion euros to cover its debts until 2018. That amount, however, could go as high as 74 billion euros as the country seeks restructuring of its massive debt, which it says is unsustainable. And the main news again. A husband, his wife and their first child have been killed in a fatal accident in Anambra State. Tragedy was today adverted in Plata State after church members discovered a bomb at the Equa Church. Serap has sought a probe of the Niger Delta Amnesty Program. And defending champion Novak Djokovic has defeated Roger Federer in four sets to win his third Wimbledon and ninth Grand Slam title. That's the news of 10 tonight. Thanks for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.